dystopia is a subgenre of speculative fiction that can be either fantasy or science fiction. If it's fantasy, it usually ties into some sort of a broken kingdom or magic gone bad idea. And if it's sci-fi, it's usually something like computers take control of the world or there's an ecological disaster. Whatever genre it fits into, whether it's sci-fi or fantasy, there are characteristics that are common to uh, dystopia that make a particular story a dystopia. Those include propaganda and several other factors. Propaganda is used to control the citizens of society. It's been used in Animal Farm as the Seven Commandments that changed over time gradually and then were still presented as if that had been the wording from the beginning. Another example of it is in Scythe by Neil Shusterman when the high blade who's corrupt comes to power and begins changing laws and allowing the Scythes to do whatever they want basically. Another characteristic of a dystopian society is that independent thought is limited and information and freedom are restricted. So you can see this in books like Fahrenheit 451 where books are burned because the ideas they have are so dangerous. And you can also see a dampening of independent thought in books like Feed where the internet is basically implanted in your brain and you can't turn it off or think apart from it basically. Another characteristic of dystopia is that there's a figurehead or concept that is revered in society or practically worshipped. This might be the character of President Snow in The Hunger Games or a military leader in other novels. Sometimes it's a concept like peace or adequate food supply for everyone. Whatever it is that's revered, that is the ultimate power or control in that society. Citizens are perceived to be under constant surveillance. You can see this in movies and books like the Maze Runner series. You can also see it in 1984 with Big Brother watching. Fear of the outside world is something that you also see in dystopia. And a good example of that is in Divergent when the society is separated into factions that are separated from each other, but that also are suspicious of each other. Dehumanization is another characteristic and this is done by the state. People are not as valued as society as a whole or the state as a whole, they're seen as disposable. There's a poem by W.H. Auden called To the Unknown Citizen. And the whole poem is about all the ways that the world or society or the government categorizes and measures someone's life and their productivity and their family without seeing them as an individual or seeing them as uniquely a person. So after the poem goes through and categorizes and qualifies all the aspects of his life, statistically and impersonally, the last two lines of the poem are, was he free? Was he happy? The question is absurd. Had anything been wrong, we should certainly have heard. So that idea that you don't matter, you're, you're not significant. Also, you'll see this in Broken Kingdom types of fantasy novels, like the Throne of Glass series by Sarah Mass. The society is so broken down and so messed up. Another thing that you will see is that the natural world is distrusted. Often this is because there's been some kind of a tragedy, an ecological disaster, or in fantasy novels because magic went wrong or magic was broken or magic broke some kind of spell and created major problems for that world. There's an uh, emphasis on conformity for citizens to uniform expectations. Individuality and dissent are bad and they're often punished 
within dystopias. Animal farms, an example of this, all animals were pressured to agree with Napoleon's rules. You also can see the illusion of a perfect world in dystopias. It isn't really a perfect world, but the characters think it's a perfect world or the government is presenting it as a perfect world that people should be grateful for. So an example of this is The Giver where uh, Jonas is growing up and he uh, is just taking the things that he's being taught for granted as it being a natural life that is a good place to live to starting to see some of the more negative aspects or hidden aspects of the society that he's growing up in. A lot of times this last point, this last characteristic will align with a theme in a novel of the main character moving from innocence to experience or coming of age. So that, that realization or that more mature understanding is sometimes you can see through the illusion to see what's really going on. That's what makes up a dystopian novel. And here's a summary that you can review just to be sure that you understand what's involved in the dystopia. I hope you enjoy reading them.